Welcome guys, in this lesson we will learn about pools, an airflow concept that helps you limit the execution parallelism on arbitrary sets of tasks. So as you know, when a DAG is run, Airflow scheduler assigns a certain number of worker slots for each task in your DAG and those workers will perform the actual task processing. Now depending upon the number of resources your system have, some systems can get overwhelmed when too many processes hit them at the same time. Let me explain a scenario. So suppose you have some 5 DAGs with each DAG having 10 parallel running tasks in it and a total of 10 workers have to execute those tasks. Now it is more than possible that out of 5, your 2 DAGs occupy all the 10 workers and the remaining 3 DAGs won't even start until the workers are freed from other tasks. In such kind of situations where tasks start fighting for workers can lead your job to crash. Isn't it a problem? Yes it is. To avoid such happenings, Airflow uses the pools concept with help of which you evenly distribute the available workers so that all tasks can have their share of it. Now telling you the basic idea of using pools. Guys pools is basically a set of arbitrary number of worker slots which can be assigned to any of the tasks. So in this example only, what we can do is, we can create 3 pools with this distribution of workers and then assign these pools to any of those 50 tasks. Task assigned to a pool can only utilize the resources available in that pool only and cannot share the workers of other pools which in turn prevents our tasks fighting over workers to some extent. If you got the concept, then let's hop to UI and create some pools. Pools can be easily managed in the admin section. This is the default one single pool which has 128 slots. Let's create our own pool. Click on create. Here we have three input fields. First we have pool name. Let's set it to pool underscore one. Next are the slots. These are the number of workers that you want to assign to this pool. Let's set it to three. Next we have optional pool description to provide any tag to this pool. I'll keep it empty and save it. Same like this, I'm going to create one more pool. It will have one slot, empty and save. Great, with this we have two pools created. One having three slots and the other one having one slot. Since we have not assigned any task to these pools and our worker slots are not currently being used, so we have zero use slots and zero queued slots. Now let's assign these pools to our DAG tasks. I have created a very simple DAG as an example having four tasks where each task runs a bash command to sleep for five seconds and there are no task dependencies. Also notice that I have passed a new parameter pool to each of the tasks. As a value of it, pass the pool name. Task T1 and T2 are assigned to pool 1 whereas T3 and T4 are assigned to pool 2. That's it for the code. Now go to browser. Enable it and trigger the DAG. Go to its graph view. Okay, see first two tasks are being run by pool 1 since it has three slots in it. But pool 2 has only one slot so it can run only one task. Refresh it. All tasks completed successfully. To get acknowledgement of what tasks were run from which pool, you can check for it logs. Task T1 should have been run by pool 1. Yes, it is. We can also check for T4. It should be run by pool 2. Yeah, right. Uh, let's do one change. Let's take back all the slots from pool 2. Now I will again trigger the DAG. Refresh. See T1 and T2 ran successfully but T3 and T4 did not. 
even though pool 1 workers are available now but t3 and t4 cannot use pool 1 slot hence these tasks are not running that's how airflow pool works only assign number of workers a task can utilized within a pool and one thing i would like to add here we can use one pool parameter priority underscore weight while defining task where priority weight as the name suggests defines the priorities for a task in the queue suppose you have few task waiting to get hold on the workers by setting the priority weight you can define which task to get executed first as the slots open up in the pool the default priority weight for task is 1 but you can set the priority weight to any number higher is the priority number first it will get hold of worker slots so in here for the demonstration first of all let me change this pool again to one slot now in the code let us assign save it yeah now if i set the priority weight of task t3 to 2 now what will happen is since pool 2 has only one slot in it and priority weight of t3 is high so this time instead of task t4 running first task t3 will be executed first let us see yeah see first two task are running in pool 1 and pool 2 is running task t3 and not task t4 because task t3 has more priority so that's it for this lecture see you in next